All right, we're back after that embarrassing death. <laughs> Once again, get ahead of this bridge thing and drop through. There we go. Almost got squished there. Okay, hit this switch. I'll shoot. Get a ring, get a ring. I'll shoot. This won't be pretty. You know what? I think I'm gonna go back up and get some rings. Okay. There we go. Because this part is kind of hard to get past. There! Oh, shoot! One is fast, one is slow. It's hard to get the timing right. Don't fall down. Ow. I see that coming. Oh, no. I didn't have a ring at this part either. Okay, there we go. Jump across here. Oh, okay. I'll jump down through here. Get ready for a bubble. Because you want to... Wait for that spike ball. There we go. Remember, don't jump on the stairs for too long with those uh, spike balls. Oh, shoot, intersect. Oh, shoot! Okay, we made it. We're done with Labyrinth 3. I mean, <laughs> Scrap Brain Zone 3. Alright, this is the final boss, guys. The object is to hit him when he pops out of those pistons like that. Stay on the right side. When those pistons come up, it's the only safe spot, and then wait for those to appear, and then simply stand directly in between two of these, and then jump through them. Right there, there we go. And wait, no, he's not there. Just keep repeating this until you've got him beat. It would be a good idea to stand in the middle of the widest two electric balls that you see, like right here is the widest, and then jump towards the right side. You have plenty of time to do so and just jump right at the piston that's closest to you, no matter if he's there or not, just to make sure that you'll hit him. And then just rinse and repeat. Yeah, if you didn't notice, this is yet another pathetic final boss. <laughs> at least once you know the, know the pattern. Nothing. He'll eventually appear where I, where I am. Hello? There we go. Nothing. You might want to go in between the two as well that are coming up, but it's best just to stay safe. And jump. Nope, he's on the other one. Dang it. Uh, I'll do the middle one. Uh, okay. How many hits was that? I wasn't counting. <laughs> Room. I gotta be like six or seven right now. There you go. Nothing. Come on. Through. That's it. You we have beaten the game. Wait, maybe not. There's a little more. Hit him once. That's it. Game over. Oh yeah! Congratulations, you have just beat Sonic 1. Well, I have. Since you're watching this, you haven't yet. Or you just wanted to watch it for entertainment. I hope it's one or the other. Yeah! Uh, I don't know if I'll have time for all the credits. But I'll include as much of it as, as I can. Bottom line is, I didn't make the game, Sega did, I just did the walkthrough on it. <laughs> this is a very good game, and I'm very happy to have done a walkthrough on it. The uh, quick story behind uh, why I didn't do this walkthrough, I explained it partially in the first part, but uh, it, about the spin dash thing. But, I didn't fully explain it. Like, you'll notice that it was hard to get up some gaps. Like, when you don't have the spin dash, because you would have to go backwards and then jump into the gap, or I mean jump up the hill if you can. And, hopefully you'll make it. Well, that proves to be kind of annoying after a while. But, after doing a test run on the game, I had fun with the game again. Because, 
I, I also forgot to mention that I didn't really have that much fun with this Sonic game after having another Sonic game with a spin dash. But after playing it again, it's just as fun as I remembered it when I first played it. So maybe it's because I haven't played it for so long. But that has been remedied. <laughs> Oh, and uh, I just got this in the mail today. I don't know if you can see Resident Evil 2 from my mom. Ironically, I was doing a test run of this game um, while she was here. Coincidence? I think not. Strangely, I, I, I played 1, 3, and 4 before I played 2. I had trouble tracking down 2, so my mom got it for me, for me as a gift. That was nice of her, she surprised me with it, came through the mail. But, that is it. If you get all the Chaos Emeralds, you'll of course get a different ending. Uh, I forgot what it is, but I remember it isn't that exciting. <laughs> but, so yeah, that's it for this walkthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed it, I certainly had a great time making it, as I did with the other ones, and I'll see you guys later.